Hi guys, this is Pete from Mixcat Reboot IT. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to remove an admin password from a Dell C600, C610, and a 510. Um, if you've ever come across this uh, white screen when the system's booting up that it says it's protected by a password, um, that's actually a hardware password that's on the system. Um, not, unfortunately, with a laptop, uh, unlike PC, if you pull out the uh, little little uh, lithium battery it does not clear that uh, the password it's actually written on an Atmel chip that's on the wafer board okay the whole unit needs to be uh, taken apart you're looking at the motherboard this is the back side of the motherboard and the Atmel chip is actually located here's the two memory modules on this side and let me find them for you they're small little chips here he is that's that's the culprit. So it's in between this big chip and the uh, network chip. So the chipset, the actual bus, and the network chip right in between is the little Atmel chip. And on the chip, it actually will either say KS24CO2 or 24CO. Basically, what you're looking for on this little um, eight-legged chip is a, a 24 on it. All the other ones have different writing but that's what kind of uh, it pops out to you. It's a, it'll say 24. This one actually says KS24C and what we're going to do is actually short out um, we're looking for the dot on the chip which is right over here. We're going to count uh, three legs over. Actually let me zoom in so it's easier for you guys. Okay, kind of zoom that in on the chip we're going to count one leg, two, and three. Actually, that third little jumper leg on the chip, on the opposite side, we count one, two, three. These two, while it's powered up, we actually have to short out. You can use a paper clip. Um, you could solder a little wire on that and just touch them together. What we're going to do is just tap it a couple times like that while the system's trying to boot, and it's going to put us back into a um, basically like a technician class uh, clear for that BIOS and that'll start off just like it is out of the factory with a, a clear BIOS. Okay, some people actually use a paper clip. I'm actually going to solder on just a little wire here. There we are. Just kind of tap them on. I might have to give this a bead of solder. I put a little flux on there and usually that's good enough. Thanks. There we are. Perfect. Okay, now I gotta do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're gonna do this side now. Oh, that worked out a lot easier. Okay, now we got both sides and I got the wire running up the side. This is gonna allow me flip to flip the board over, put in the battery and the video and uh, tap the two wires together to see if we can get to the uh, the technician mode. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I put the unit back together as best I can without putting the whole um, whole laptop together. What I did was I left all the metal pieces out. Here's the board with the keyboard. Gotta make sure you put on that uh, CPU heat sink. That way when we power it up it don't cook that CPU. Put the screen on and the video and the keyboard because we're going to need the keyboard for a certain key combination. I'm going to use a charge battery here to turn it on. Okay guys, I got this together here. Um, got the battery in there. I'm going to flip up the keyboard, try not to short anything out, and hit the power. And what we're going to do is as it's booting, I'm going to short out that chip. And I hope I have enough juice. There we go. Okay. I just keep tapping. Tap, 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 tap. We hope we get that um, that extra function that pops up that says um, it's back into factory default mode. No, oh, we still got the password. All right, let me restart that. Yep, next reboot, it came up. Here you go. That's what you're looking for. 
it says hit function x function x and we should be good okay guys as you can see we're actually into the bio screen so we cleared out that password oh, p p p uh, da, 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 where does it say password? Admin, uh, sorry, admin password disabled. So, I don't know if you can see that. Let me, oh, but admin password disabled. Okay, now I'm putting this uh, unit back together. I pulled off those two little wires that were on the, the back of that uh, Atmel chip. This is a great time while I have the unit apart to inspect the heat sink. This one's clean because I actually just cleaned it out. Um, you want to get all the hair, dirt, dust, everything that collects over the years. And the CPU here, you're going to clean it with a little rubbing alcohol and put some CPU compound on there. Dab in the center, and that's going to keep this guy running nice and cool. Uh, definitely a great thing when you have the unit apart. Uh, great maintenance for it. That way you don't have any kind of thermal failures. Okay, guys, we got it all back together. And... Now you'll see it doesn't come up with that password issue anymore. It'll start booting into XP. But yeah, it was about an hour and a half project. There we go.